cup of tea, fathers. No, thanks, Mrs. Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, right. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your hand, then. Go on inside, Mrs. Doyle. I'll take the tray. All right, Father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. <laughs> Here's the sandwiches for tonight. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do my test. Uh, what test is that, Mrs. Doyle? Well, I select a sandwich at random and try it. And if it doesn't meet my standards, I put the lot of them in the bin. <laughs> Cup of tea, Father. Mrs. Doyle, how would you like to be the first to buy a raffle ticket? Oh, I'd love to, Father. I haven't taken part in a raffle in donkey's years, and I think I might be in with a great chance today. Shut up, Dougal. <laughs> That's great. How many will you take? Just the one. Ah, huh, all right. I only need one. My lucky number never lets me down. Oh, I see. Which one is that? Eleven. What? Eleven. It's always been lucky for me. Um, well, uh, we're out of 11s. I thought I was your first customer. Yes, yes. But, um, but I think this one came without 11s. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a number 10 and a number 1, and that'll add up to 11, and you can have them both for 50p. No, I don't think so, Father. I'd better have my money back. Mrs Doyle, it's for charity. It's for the roof. Sorry, Father. Incredible <laughs> woman. Please. Oh, thanks very much, Mrs Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> for God's sake, have some pity. I'm a priest. Oh, oh they, they, they have you every way, you know. Uh, I, I was in the... <laughs> what can I do for you, Mrs Doyle? Terrible news. It's Father Finnegan. He's had a heart attack. No. The doctors warned him to cut it down to 12 hours a day, but he just couldn't stop dancing. Oh, that's terrible news. What's up, Ted? It's Father Finnegan. He's had a heart attack. No. Are there any more chipsticks? <laughs> uh, Mrs. Doyle, uh, you left the cooker on. All right, Father, I'll be there in a second. <laughs> right, Father, everything's ready. There's a big vat of tea steaming away, and I've arranged the Ferrero Rocher in a big triangular pile. <laughs> Oh, God, Father, I'm so excited. Taking on three bishops all at once. Oh, I can't wait. Right. You know, Father, I think this is going to be the greatest moment of my career. It's almost as if my whole life was leading up to this uh, moment. Mrs Doyle! Uh, Mrs Doyle, I'm over here. <laughs> oh, so you are, Father. Mrs Doyle! <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Doyle, have you got your contacts in? No. A dog ran off with them. <laughs> I thought I'd get away with it, but I suppose I'll have to wear the glasses. I don't like wearing them, Father. I feel they make me look like a frustrated old bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine that. I imagine they look absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Father, are they that bad? No, no, no. Uh, it's just a, a scary film I was thinking of. <laughs> They're fine, really. Great, well, uh... That's much better. Um, I'll just go and check on the tea, so... <laughs> Father? Mm? Father, I have absolutely no idea where the door is. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher? Father Ted, with these Rocher, you are really spoiling us. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle. All right. Uh, Bishop, I'm sorry, you were saying... Oh, yes. I was saying we have to fight back against the media. Well, we must make our voice heard. Where is Father Hackett? Uh, Mrs. Doyle, uh, could you get Father Hackett for us now? Certainly, Father. I must say, Mrs. Doyle, they keep you on your feet. My housekeeper isn't the best, I'm afraid. Sometimes I think that it's me that should be making the tea for her. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doyle. 
Mrs. Doyle. Making the tea for her. <laughs> Quick, it's Bishop Jordan. I think he's dead. <laughs> there. Oh, Lord. Yeah. That's a dustbin, Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> Sandwiches for the picnic. The rest are in the kitchen. Great. I hope you enjoyed them, Father. Oh, I love a sandwich from time to time. It doesn't matter what flavour it is, just as long as it isn't egg, because you know how much I hate egg, Mrs. Doyle. God, <laughs> even the smell of them brings me out in a terrible rush. I tell you, I wouldn't eat an egg sandwich if you paid me. They're horrible, stinking, smelly things, as I told you before. Do you remember me telling you earlier, Mrs. Doyle, anything except egg, and how I wanted anything at all, just as long as it wasn't egg? They're egg, aren't they, Mrs. Doyle? Yes. <laughs> Great. Tea, Father. Oh, God, almighty, oh, Mrs. Doyle. What are you doing up? Oh, I always stay up, Father, in case one of you needs a cup of tea. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Oh, about three years now. <laughs> but we never get up at night, Mrs Doyle. Well, you're up now, aren't you, Father? Unless I'm hallucinating from lack of sleep. <laughs> That's happened before, all right. <laughs> I'm just getting my jacket to, to go for a little walk. Right, so... Beautiful voice, Father. No, I, I don't really. <laughs> no, you do. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks very much. I don't think I've ever heard anything more beautiful in all my life. Go on, sing something else. No, I, I don't normally do requests. Ah, uh, go on now, please. Okay. I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the fall. No. No, I didn't like that one so much. No, I was a bit disappointed with that one, to be honest. Yes, uh, thank you, Mrs. Doyle. That wasn't very good at all. Yes. I mean, I used to love that song, but that version was catastrophic. Well, I'll tell you what, Mrs. Doyle, I won't book Carnegie Hall just yet. I don't think they'd let you play Carnegie Hall with a voice like that. 